Well, good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is to you guys at home. Hopefully you can enjoy this video. I thought I'd do a bit of an educational one. Uh, it's basically an easier way that I see on how to pass your uh, waterfowl identification test. So I'll go through some tips and tricks on how to pass a lot better and have a better understanding and what to look out for. For all the beginners out there, uh, they did come up with the Duckwise DVD, so get a hold of that. If not, you can go to the game management website and have a look at all the duck species and, of course, the non-game species. But um, it'll be a short little video. Hopefully, I can put all the info in there on how to pass it a lot easier. Um, of course, you're going to have to do the homework because the more times you watch that, the more times you're going to have a better understanding uh, of the duck species and what to look out for, of course. Um, I can only take you so far, but you're gonna have to do some homework as well for all the beginners out there. So more times you watch that, the better off you're gonna be. It's got some great content in it, okay? Um, as it says, duck, wise, uh, waterfowl, identification, safety, and the effective and efficient hunting. So that's it in a nutshell. Watch the whole DVD as a beginner as I said, a lot of really good info on that. But of course, this video is mainly gonna focus on the test, what to look out for, and how I can help you understand it and pass better than the average Joe Blow who hasn't watched the DVD and he's just going in there to give it a crack. So we'll head up to the laptop. I'll push play and go through some scenarios and hopefully, hopefully it's gonna help you get a double A pass and a big tick. Uh, I've already punched the Game Management Authority in the Google search, so I'll just click on that just so I could remember how to get into it. Uh, home, Game Management Authority. And it's going to bring up everything on the Game Management Authority website. Hunting, licensing, enforcement. You can go straight to the education and it'll bring up uh, deer or duck or whatever you want. So you can go directly through there, but what we might do is just go through the hunting. That's gonna give you a few options of what you wanna look for as well, whether it's gonna be introduced game birds, you wanna hunt quail, but what we wanna do is we wanna go for the duck. There we go. So in this section here for the beginners, it's going to give you a lot of options. Where to hunt throughout the season, your times, your dates, the season starts, um, opening times a whole lot, when to hunt. It's going to give you methods and also uh, the laws and regulations to follow. Ethical hunting, some considerations, but you might want to take a look at that one, which is your game duck species. Okay, if you click on that one, That's gonna give you all the game duck species. The blue wing shoveler is going to be there. We have to identify that on our test because it is a game bird, but the last couple of years it hasn't been on the game list to actually hunt, but we still need to identify it and make sure we know what they are. So that's a good one to look at. Individually, you can click on those and find out what they're about. You can get their wing patterns and find out whether they're a game species or not and how to identify them. But most of all, you're gonna get all your information off that Duckwise DVD. So what we'll do is I'll just go back because what we wanna click on and what we're aiming for is the practice test. So identification test there, click on that one. There we go. So we've got a waterfowl identification practice test. Okay, that's what we wanna get into. Double click on that one. Practice test, and there we are there. 
Okay, now you can actually print off a couple of practice tests, which I'll get you to do. So if you've got them handy, that would be really, really good. And then once you've got those, like I have, I've got a couple in my hand here, I'll turn the camera around and we'll show you and give you a rundown and a better understanding on how to pass it. So all we're gonna do, once we get going, we're gonna hit the play. And it's gonna go straight into our video and a practice test. These tests will find out how well you can identify waterfowl in the air and so minimize the chance of protected birds. So being I'll taken pause that for now, turn the camera around, game birds. and we'll have a chat. Tests are not okay, so turn the camera around. As I said, if you can get hold of that Duckwise DVD, it makes it a lot easier. You can keep press and play, rewind, pause. Uh, you can do it off the laptop. Um, Whichever way is gonna suit you, go for it. But as I said, the more times you watch that, the better off. As a beginner, you wanna watch every species and the whole clip and the whole section. And you wanna know um, basically the identifying features. As in the black duck, pale face, they've got the wing patches and all that sort of stuff. A little tip um, as we move forward would be, most of the time, if it's white, it's right. So, the game species mainly have a white wing patch on the upper or lower, if they're the teal, they've got white underneath and all that sort of stuff. Um, so that's a good little tip as well. Um, as a beginner, as I said, you wanna watch each species and the whole DVD. But what we're gonna do now is as you progress forward, we're gonna just go straight into trying to pass this wit test, okay? so. Everything in that test that we're going to see now when we push play and we're going to try and actually go through it and have a crack at it is off this DVD. Everything off that test, right, has to come off here. So the more times you watch it, the better off you're going to be, okay? So they're not going to grab footage from down the wetland and bring it back and then all of a sudden surprise you, okay? Everything's going to be in there. So as I said, I know I'm drumming it into you, but the more times you watch that, the better off you're gonna be, and the easier it's gonna be, as soon as you see that duck come on the TV in your test, you're gonna go, bang, I know what it is, okay? So for example, um, the hard head on here, um, in the Duckwise DVD only has, I think it was about three minutes or something, on the whole entire hard head and the species, okay? They're really easy to identify. Just push space bar so it doesn't time out. So I've got it set here. As I said, relax mode, I'm on the couch, laptops here. Um, so the hard head sequence, looking at that, what is it, two minutes 57. That's all you get on the hard head, okay? So the test footage, um, and I think when you go sit your test, there might be about five or six DVDs that they're gonna test you on, different stuff, whatever. But it doesn't matter which one you get, okay? They'll alternate them if you're in a big group. It's gotta come off this. It has to, okay? As I said, they're not gonna spring it on you. So for example, out of the three minutes of hardhead footage, footage that they've got, there's only about 30 seconds of the hardhead flying. So if you go into the hardhead, and I'll turn it around, look at that, there's three minutes of footage. As a beginner, you wanna make sure you learn the whole species, but the flying sequences only run for about 20 seconds. One, flying sequence. Two. Three. And that's it. So that's it. Like there's only three, four, five sequences in that three minutes of footage that they can test you on. So the more times you watch that flying sequence and hardhead, when it comes up in the test, you're gonna go, bang, that's a hardhead. So for example, it's the same as a blue wing shoveler. They're only gonna test you on the blue wing and every other species, for example, when the birds are flying. They're not gonna actually come up on the test if they're just sitting on the water. 
So the more times you watch those birds flying on this DVD, the better off you're gonna be. So there's the other little tip. Um, what else do I have? Uh, let's go straight into the test and we'll go through how we're gonna mark it and how we're gonna pass it. These tests will find out how well you So we've got our practice test up. And so minimize the chance Pretty self-explanatory. It'll go through what to do at the start. For hunters who know their game birds, these tests are not difficult. Hopefully you've for got a um, practice test printed out for us. And that way, now. I've got it next to me here. We can go through it. Then the screen will go blank for 20 seconds to give you time to look at the test paper and mark the boxes provided. If you can identify the bird on the screen, fill in one of the boxes on the left. And don't forget to answer the other part of the question in column A because there are no half marks. If you can't identify the bird, fill in the not sure, don't shoot box in column B. So that was pretty self-explanatory. There's our example question. They've got four ducks to choose from. Wood duck, mountain duck, shoveler or hardhead. Okay, whether it's game or non-game. And if you weren't sure, you're not gonna shoot it. That's basically the rundown of identifying what's on the TV. Push play again. Before each test, there is a five second countdown which starts with this beep. Now that beep is gonna indicate when you're gonna look up at the screen. Watch the picture carefully. Now you can try answering the test mark. Example only. This will not... So that was the example question. So we need to mark what species of duck it is. I'll go for shoveler. We need to mark whether it's game or non-game, okay? We're gonna mark game. Simple as that. The next test is the first of the real ones. Get ready. So this will be question one. It says start five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna count. Now it's gonna show us the clip. Test number well, one. that's it. So I'll push pause. That was number one. So remember, what species was it? We've got to pick which one it was. I know it's a chestnut teal. Is it a game or a non-game? It's a game bird. Okay. If you weren't sure what it was, you can do the not sure, don't shoot. But as I show you, and we go through this now, we're gonna make sure you know what it is, and we're gonna make sure that you'll be able to pass it, and you shouldn't have to select, not sure, don't shoot. We'll continue on. So there's gonna be a small pause between every question. And that's just gonna give you time to make sure that as you go through, you're on the right question and you're gonna answer the right one. So see, it's not telling you, it just goes straight to the next one. That was test number two. So that was question two, it's telling you at the end. So you're gonna come across and mark question two. Game or non-game, game so you can be looking at the next question oh we've heard a beep it's going to give you the countdown don't panic there's that hard head sequence that was test number three and of course it's telling you that was number three so make sure you're on the right question and you're going to answer the right one hard head game because we know our game species we shouldn't get it wrong so it's as simple as just 
going through the questions, answering them correctly, making sure we're on the right one. And we've watched that duck sequence a few times. Now there's a big one there. That was test number four. So that was a mob, a freckle duck. And I'll tell you why that was a big question. So I'll push pause on there. Let's go over. And we'll go in there. And we'll go non-game on that one. Okay. Freckle duck, non-game. Okay, so the reason I said that was a very important sequence is because the freckle duck have no markings on them. They're flying in a bunch or a mob, whatever you want to call it. Whereas most of the other examples on the test videos are in ones or they're in pairs. Okay, when the freckle duck come up on the test, they seem to be in mobs with no markings. So the more times you watch that sequence on the Duckwise DVD, the better off you're going to be. As soon as it comes up in the test, bang, you know it's going to be freckle duck. That's why you need to watch it. The example is like the hardhead. There's only three minutes that they've got of footage for the whole thing they can test you on. The freckle duck is very, very similar. Let's go to the freckle duck and I'll show you what I mean. As with most ducks, the best way to identify freckle so here's duck our freckle duck is sequence. not to look for specific markings. I'll just fast forward it. What they look like in flight. No markings on the freckle duck. Freckle ducks fly with their head down. One sequence flying. And lack any color Two on the sequences. Wing. No markings. Freckle ducks are large and slim birds. They're long, There's four sequences. Bill, long wings and long tapering tail are key features to look for. There's still no markings on them. They're a dark bird. And there you go. So as you can see there, there is not a lot of footage that they've got on here that they can test you on when it comes to the tests. There's only five or six actual sequences that are going to appear in your test. So the more times you watch that, the better off you're going to be. You can watch that freckle duck sequence over and over and over in the flight patterns. They're not going to actually test you while they're swimming on the water. It's going to have to be while they're flying. So recommend for the beginners, watch it. Um, it's the same with the shoveler. So I know it's a bit repetitive. I'm saying watch the um, hard head sequence because there's not much uh, footage from them. Uh, the freckle duck's the same and the shoveler as well. So the three main ducks that people sort of have a little bit of trouble with identifying um, is the shoveler in the tests and in the practice DVDs. So the more times you watch it, the better. So the shoveler, the freckle duck and the hardhead. So that's the three main ones people have a little bit of trouble. Um, if you are sitting the test and you come across the teal, now you don't have to identify the correct teal. Ideally you want to, you want to identify whether it's a chestnut teal or a gray teal. That's what you want to do. But if the teal appears on the screen, and you see and you weren't quite sure, okay, what you want to do is still mark teal, okay, and then you're still going to get points for it. That's better off saying it's a teal, but you weren't sure what one, than actually saying not sure, don't shoot. So you're still going to get points for identifying it is a teal. Unfortunately, you just weren't sure which one it's going to be, whether it was going to be the grey one or it's going to be the chestnut. But you're going to watch the whole clip from start to finish. You should be able to identify it, okay? You shouldn't have to choose not sure, don't shoot at all. We should be able to get you to the stage that you've watched this enough, you've watched the flying sequences enough that you're going to be able to actually identify it correctly. Okay, let's move on. We'll do a few more practice tests and then I'm going to get you in the right frame of mind to pass this very, very easy. Okay, just adjust that a little bit. So we're back on our practice test. Going through the motions. That was test number five. Tells us it's number five. So we'll go across, make sure that we're on number five. 
we want to select what it is. Shovel up, and it's a game. And we're off again. Okay, so it's pretty easy just to follow the beeps and the process. I just thought I'd do this one more. That was test number six. Because number six, of course, honker hunters, my favourite bird. <laughs> so we'll go down to number six. Mountain duck. Game bird. Love it. There we go. So we're just going to keep going through. But what we want to do now is get in a different frame of mind and we're going to make it a little bit easier. So as a beginner, you're in your head going, oh my God, there's eight game species, there's nine game species. Which one's going to come up? I'm not sure. How can we actually analyze this and actually put it into perspective to make it easier in your head and only concentrate on one question at a time? When you look at that, as a beginner, you go, wow, as I said, there's that many birds on there. There's all these different types of wing patterns. There's all these different types of flying patterns. Um, and as I said, let's make it easier. So to cut it short, what we're gonna do now is go to question seven. So question seven, okay, in it, we've got black duck, mountain duck, Cormorant or hardhead. So there's four birds in that question. That's it. So we don't have to worry about the rest of them. Okay, so in there we've got black duck, mountain duck, and hardhead. So there's three game species that we have to worry about. We don't have to worry about the rest of them. We don't have to worry about the other five, six, seven, eight. We only have to worry about those three in the question and there's one non-game, which is a cormorant. So we only have to worry about the four birds in that question, okay? Don't worry about everything else. Don't, worry, don't think about anything else. Don't think about any other species. What we need you to do is stare at that page and that question, number seven, okay? And we want you to think in your head and repeat to yourself, black duck, mountain duck, Cormorant or hardhead? Black duck, mountain duck, cormorant or hardhead? That's it. In your head, keep repeating yourself. It's got to be one of the four birds. Now let's have a look. Okay, so we've got the four birds in our head. Black duck, mountain duck, cormorant or hardhead. So if I, I just push play, it's got to be one of the four. No markings, white patches, that's a cormorant. That was test number seven. So I've already marked it off, question seven. Let's keep going and we'll go to question eight. So let's get in our head for question eight. Grebe, pink ear duck, cormorant or a shoveler. Just look at the four birds. It's gotta be one of those four. I've heard the beep and a countdown. So we're going to mark pink ear duck and pink ear again. Go to the next question. Coot, black duck, pink ear duck or wood duck. So it seems a bit repetitive, but what I'm trying to get you to do is just look at these four birds in this next question. That's it. That's all we need to worry about right there. Okay. Now. Coot, black duck, pink ear duck, or wood duck? Get them in your head. Coot, black duck, pink ear, or wood duck? We're not even looking at the screen until we hear that beep. Now we're looking up. There's some nice wood ducks. We're going to watch the whole clip. That was test number nine. And make sure we're on test nine. 
question nine, sorry. Wood duck, game. As soon as you marked it off, go to the next one and get these next four in your head. Coot, chestnut, teal, wood duck, hardhead. Coot, chestnut, wood duck, hardhead. We've heard the beep. Now we're going to look up. We're going to watch the whole clip. That was test number 10. And it's going to tell us we're on number 10. So we're going to go coot, and it's a non-game. So once again, it's repetitive, I know. Get the next four in your head. Mountain duck, black duck, hardhead, wood duck. We're not worrying about any other game species. We're not worrying about what's non-game, what's anything else. We're worried about the next question. What's going to be in the next question has to be one of these four birds. That's all we're going to worry about. We're going to keep getting those in our head until we hear the beeps on our computer screen or our TV when we're sitting the test. That's when we're going to look up. We're not going to look up until we hear the beep because we're too focused on worrying about what's in this next box because that's what we need to get in our head. So that's going to make it a lot easier because then you've only got a four choice selection to choose from, if that makes sense. So we're studying the four birds, mountain duck, black duck, hardhead, wood duck. Mountain duck, black duck, hardhead, wood duck. I've heard the beep. Now we're going to look up at the screen. And we know that's a black duck. Pale face, big white wing under patch. And it's question 11. So we'll come down. We'll mark black duck and black ducks again. So I hope that is starting to make sense. Instead of worrying about all the birds, all the species, the eight game species, the non game species, we're only focused on the four birds in that particular question. So we want to get them into our heads. Okay, so for example, question 12. Chestnut teal, grey teal, wood duck, and a grebe. Four birds. There's three game and one non-game. So we're going to keep looking at that question. Chestnut teal, grey teal, wood duck, and the grebe. We're going to wait until we hear the beep, and then look up at the screen. So the tip that I'll give you there is make sure you watch the whole clip. You might think you know what it is, okay, but sometimes with the shoveler, in the say the clips, uh, you won't see the quite you won't quite see the wing pattern um, until the very last second where they go to land, and you might see orange feet. Of course, the orange feet dead giveaway. It's the shoveler. Okay, so you've got to watch that whole clip to make sure that you identify the bird correctly. So as soon as you look at the clip, you're looking up and you go, oh, I know what that is still watch the whole clip so you are absolutely 100% sure that you're correct. That's the tip. Make sure that you're correct. So even if you are confident, what I want to sort of get through the beginners, just watch the whole clip because again, it's helping you identify the bird in the end uh, picture anyway. So as I said, get them into your head. It's got to be one of the four birds. Watch the whole clip. Come back down, mark it off. Make sure you're on the right question because it tells you at the end of the clip you're on question 12. Let's tick it off and then tick off whether it's game or non-game. So repetitive, I know, but I'm trying to help you and then get it into your head that this is the best process to help you get through the test. So we'll do a few more and I'll just run through um, and then we should come to the end of it and we'll give it a big tick and approval and we'll see how we go. Chestnut teal, grey teal, wood duck and a grebe. It's got to be one of the four. <whistles> Heard the beeps. I'm going to look up at the screen. Watching the whole clip. That was test number 12. And it's 
Question 12. I know it's a grebe and it's going to be non-game. Straight away, question 13. Mountain duck, freckle duck, hardhead, bluebill. Mountain duck, freckle duck, hardhead, bluebill. Mountain duck, freckle duck, hardhead, bluebill. I've heard the beep. Now I look up at the screen. I'm going to watch the whole clip. That was test number 13. And it's going to give me the question 13. There we go. And we'll do one more. Freckle duck, pink ear duck, coot or black duck. It's got to be one of the four. Get them in your head. Freckle duck, pink ear, coot and black duck. I heard the beep. I'll look up at the screen. Freckle duck. They're in a bit of a mob with no pattern at all. No wing markings. That was test number 14. Question 14. Freckle duck. Non-game. So there we go. We've gone through our practice test. Hopefully you guys followed that. Hopefully that gives you an easier process, as I've said, um, to get it in your head that you're only worried about four birds and then you're going to hear the beeps look up at the screen and identify what birds on the screen out of those four, not worrying about all the rest of them. So it is a bit repetitive, I know, um, but for the beginners, I hope, hope that this is gonna help you out. Um, for the rest of the tips and stuff like that, um, as I said, make sure you watch the DuckWise DVD, make sure you watch each individual species um, over and over because the more times you watch that DVD, the better. Um, markings on the birds. Uh, I've always had a bit of a saying that if it's white, that it's right. 99% um, of the time, uh, the game birds have a patch or a marking on their wings, upper lower being the teal. Um, black duck, underarms, you've got two massive big white landing strips on my favorite bird, which is a mountain duck. Um, etc etc um, the more times you watch the freckle duck sequence the better off you're going to be the more times you watch the shoveler sequence in that DVD the better off you're going to be all the test footage will come off that DVD as I said earlier so it has to come off that test DVD um, well that's about it that's all I've got for you as I said, it's a process to follow to help you beginners pass the wit test a lot easier. You don't have to worry about the eight game species and what's going on in your head, the non-game species and all that sort of stuff. It's a process to follow to make it easier for you to pass it. Um, the more times you can watch that, the better. If you can't get hold of that, head over to the GMA website. They've got it on there. You can head to YouTube and watch it watch the flying sequences, all that sort of stuff, as I said. Um, while you're over there, I've got a lot of things for the beginners as well on the Honker Hunters YouTube channel. Painted up some decoys, we've made some silhouettes, we've done some other things as well, so check that out. Other than that, good luck, I hope you pass. I hope this has made it a hell of a lot easier for you and less stressful, because that's what it's all about. Um, other than that, enjoy. I might see you out in the wetland. If I do, make sure you say hello. Leave a comment down below if you've enjoyed the video and it's definitely helped you out. Or subscribe to the channel, be much appreciated. Thank you, talk to you then.